This is Dr. Edward Conley. Welcome to February's update for fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, and autoimmune disease from the Fatigue, Fibromyalgia, and Autoimmune Clinic of Michigan. The statins, also known as the HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors, are the most prescribed cholesterol medications in the United States. But there are some important, important things that you must know if you are on one of these statins to lower your cholesterol. First of all, in many countries, including Canada, um, it had been noted that the, uh, these statins reduce how you make cholesterol, obviously, which is why they are good for reducing cholesterol, but that reduces your coenzyme Q10, which you may recognize as being an important part of energy production. Many people then can have fatigue related to co low coenzyme Q10 from being on the statins. And in many countries, you, um, doctors have to use CoQ10 when they prescribe a statin. It's called a black box warning, which means a doctor must prescribe CoQ10 when they prescribe the statins. That is not done in the United States, and it is not automatic uh, for a doctor to do that, and indeed many doctors do not understand that you must do that. So number one is that if you are on a statin medication, and cannot get off of it for reasons we'll discuss here in a minute, you must be on coenzyme Q10 and you should be on a high quality coenzyme Q10. There are hundreds of them out there. Some of them are made in uh, countries that I don't trust their quality control. So you should um, discuss with us what are the proper CoQ10s to use, and indeed, being that it is a supplement that's going inside of you, you don't want a knockoff. If you're gonna purchase a Gucci bag, buying you know a fake Gucci really won't harm anything, but a supplement or a medication that you're taking within you, you wanna make sure is a high quality. So, number one, if you are on a statin, you should also be taking coenzyme Q10. Number two, if you have chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia, and if you do not have serious or severe coronary artery disease, then a trial of going off of your statin for two or three months to determine if your chronic fatigue or fibromyalgia improves should be considered. Now I must tell you, you have to discuss this with your physician first. However, Statins are one of the most overprescribed medications in the United States because doctors are being brainwashed into treating anybody with cholesterols over a certain point, disregarding the fact that there are possible side effects. And number two, the evidence is not entirely clear that treating cholesterol, just elevated cholesterol with a statin necessarily lengthens your lifespan or prevents coronary artery disease. Now there, that is controversial, but what is not controversial is the fact that if you do not have serious coronary artery disease, stopping the statins for two to three months to see if your fatigue or fibromyalgia improves. We have seen patients here at the clinic where their fibromyalgia has improved by 20 or 30%. Occasionally we see patients where their fibromyalgia goes away because they were getting muscle injury from, as a side effect from the statin. Now it is rare that we have people where their fibromyalgia totally clears, but it is less rare where I have patients where their fibromyalgia improves by 10, 20, 30 percent once they stop the statin. Again, you must discuss this with your personal physician and or your cardiologist and 
you're going to run into some resistance because of all of the money that's been spent to convince doctors to put you on cholesterol medication. But I have to admit that I see many people, a lot of women, whose cholesterols before the medications were borderline or only mildly elevated. They do not have significant history or evidence of coronary artery disease, yet they have been placed on one of these statins because that is the thing that doctors are taught to do. So, discuss this with your physician, but because the statins can contribute to chronic fatigue by various mechanisms, but the most common one is by reducing your coenzyme Q10 levels, you should, number one, be on a good quality coenzyme Q10 supplementation if you are on a statin. And number two is discuss with your doctors that if your cholesterols were not terrible and or you do not have significant coronary artery disease, stopping the statins for two to three months to see if your fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue improves. And number two, as we just discussed, with fibromyalgia, pay attention to when you started the statin. Did your fibromyalgia symptoms become worse in the few months following initiation of the statin? If you cannot remember, and again, if you do not have serious coronary artery disease and you've discussed this with your physician, it may be possible for you to stop the statin for two to three months to determine if your fibromyalgia symptoms improve. There are many other steps that you can take to lower your cholesterol and we would be happy to discuss those with you. We have many patients that we have seen with chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia where we've been able to take them off of the statin cholesterol lowering medications, put them on a proper dietary and other program to reduce and supplements and or medications that do not inhibit the production of coenzyme Q10 and reduce their cholesterol over a 12 month period of time. If you do not have severe artery disease, do not have severe coronary artery disease, or do not have, have not had a heart attack in the past, then you have time to adjust your diet, to work with, with us or another physician to lower your cholesterol either naturally, using supplements and diet, and or less, um, using less injurious medications or at least medications that do not impact the Krebs cycle via that coenzyme Q10 and your muscles as much. There is, in severe cases, a disease called rhabdomyolysis where it's actual destruction of the muscle fibers. I have only seen a few cases of that with statins. That is severe enough to where the enzymes from damage to the muscles actually can be detected in your bloodstream on laboratory tests. I have seen many more people that I suspect were getting lower grade injury or inflammation to their muscles where their laboratory tests did not indicate that they were getting this rhabdomyolysis or destruction of the muscles. Their enzymes had not gone up, but yet with uh, taking them off of the statin, they had a reduction, as I said, 20 to 30 percent, sometimes more, sometimes less, in their muscle pain. Once again, make sure you discuss this with your physician. Do not stop the statins on your own. If your physician is not amenable to it, or for other reasons you wish not to discuss your particular case with the physician, Contact us. I would be happy to discuss your case, review it with you, and give you my opinion on your, uh, what direction to take. But statins can be toxic. They are one of the most frequently prescribed medications 
in the United States. They can contribute to muscle pain and contribute to fibromyalgia in certain people. They can contribute to chronic fatigue and reduction of coenzyme Q10 in certain people. We know that in almost everyone who takes uh, the statins, they get a reduction of coenzyme Q10 with the associated reduction of Krebs cycle function and energy, which we have talked about many times before. So, that's a simple step, but is one that should not be overlooked. This has been Dr. Edward Connolly for February's Vitality Today update. Make sure you keep in touch with us, both by website and on YouTube, as I will be posting 2014's complete update within the next month. And that's going to be an update on all factors that we have found important over the last 12 months in fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, and autoimmune disease. So please keep, uh, keep an eye out for uh, our 2014 update uh, coming to you soon. But again, for February, this is Dr. Edward Conley uh, for Vitality Today update.